Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And it's just a little bit of a follow-up episode on our Splinkle machine here. Uh, I did a little bit of work, I did a little bit of modifications, I got the ball stuck, which is going to be a regular occurrence with this thing, unless I set up hover pads or whatnot. But uh, first thing I did is I put the platform at a little better spot so we can see the carriage, and we can actually see all the way down to the down to the pockets so that is good uh, another one I did too is I was having issues with the, this uh, bar somehow the bar had swung around sideways and I wasn't able to move this thing anymore so I had mentioned when I built this that I didn't really need to have it attached because I'm not using the cockpit to control it so I did that and one of the updates we had a little while ago probably last, sometime last year I think it was was uh, the fact that vehicles don't clip through uh, structures anymore so I'm actually able to keep this up here and have no problems uh, another one was the hover pad uh, what I realized is the hover pad was too far up and so it was only really pushing with this corner so I made a few modifications I took this thing out and put the hover pad down one more and it actually does work so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm gonna have to sleep again you know it's just in there trying to get rid of the rain uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Sleep away the night. I'll bring you back. We'll move the carriage over and uh, get that ball free. Try to, anyways. Uh, I've learned my lesson about actually going inside there. Uh, I, I'm going to call it the grinder from now on. I went in there and I got wedged between two of the, the spinners and I lost like 30% of my health. So it's pretty brutal. Be a good way to get a good way for a Godillo farm, huh? Get a line of Godillos going to the top by the time they come down to the bottom. We got mincemeat. Be perfect. Alright, so let's go up here first. And we'll just move that carriage over. I probably could have moved this a little bit better, but it works. Goes trucking along. We'll come up to the very end and stop. Like so. Now we gotta get that ball free. And I'm gonna be smart about this. I'm gonna open up the side here and I'm just gonna put put a weight on it. And just to lift this up and I should drop into this pocket. I know if I go in there, I'm gonna be hurting. Literally. Alright, let's uh let's actually work. These things are extremely heavy. Just go ahead and drop it like that. That is not enough. So we'll take that one out. Okay. And we take out that. That's how we fix it. And of course I'm on the wrong hot bar. Alright, let me just throw this back in. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do about that. Even if I add one more block space, uh, there's still a good chance that it could get wedged in there. Just because two blocks is exactly two blocks anyway let's do a quick uh, run or two of this and then I'm gonna get this up I would have spent the time to get perfected but when you spend two days trying to actually get something done because you know you're gonna have headaches to begin with uh, you tend to drag your feet all right so you go down and then you go back into the elevator and we should see it pop up into the car there and I can also get a chance to see where it's going I probably should have saved first but no big deal and show me it's a little slow coming up the back there It's not, it actually got stuck. Uh, what happened here? That's what happened. We're gonna need another ball. Okay, crisis averted and game has been saved. So now, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, except for the rain, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, I did get the ball free, as you can see, it's in the far left there, so let's go ahead and reset it. And unfortunately it's raining, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm surprised it's actually gone through there a couple of times, because I didn't even have the back, there's absolutely no back to it. I'm surprised it never actually got 
shot out the back. Yeah, of course it's raining. It'll stop in a minute. I noticed too, my son seems to be moving awfully quick. I'm pretty sure I had a long day cycle. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's go back a little bit. I give myself a little bit more room. And I hit the wrong button. I was supposed to move it. And I got stuck in the same spot. Alright, hang on. Oh, good, I didn't have to sleep the rain away. It actually stopped for me. Alright, so that is the wrong button, or did I? Did I hook it up to the wrong button? Let's uh, turn that off first. I have something crossed. What did I do wrong here? Hang on, I gotta figure out where the wiring is. Okay, so I was having a, having a cross switchboard issue. So what I did is I just made another generator for each switch. No, like I can't afford it. Uh, I can always afford it. All right, so now we can actually move this. So let's move. Why are you still crossing? Something is getting crossed here. I wonder if it's connected to this somehow. No. Hmm. And where did that ball go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So why is that turning on? I wonder if this switch switches too close. All right, because I think everything is lighting up. Okay, that's not... Uh, what is going on here? Okay, these, they're not connected anywhere. Okay, and then it goes up there. That's fine. The switchboard is only connected to the reset. That's on its own. Those are separated because of the color. Why is it doing this? I think it's got something to do with this switch. So I am going to, it's working fine down there, I wonder if maybe it's some strange bug where it doesn't want to, when you have them on top like that, it, uh, <sighs> similar to like bud powering in Minecraft, okay, and this was blue. Okay, that works. Why does that turn on? I cannot figure this out. It doesn't turn on with the red. It's got to be crossed. Probably up here. I don't think I could think of. Uh, let me figure this out. Okay, so I did figure out the problem. Uh, I had switchboards underneath. Ah, you stupid spacebar. Uh, switchboards underneath there that were actually connecting those two switches together, and I forgot about that. So that was the problem. But now I just gotta free this ball up. I do have the carriage in the right spot, and we'll just do what we did last time. And I think we can get away with just doing it right here and here uh, put one uh, those there and now we should be able to do this and that's the wrong bar again we should have one giant hot bar that's just every block in the game you do shift control alt uh, and the number to get different things. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go try this out. This should be it. Alright, so the ball is in the hopper. We'll push it out. We'll turn that off. 
Yeah, I knew it had to be a short, and I couldn't see the switchboards underneath there, and you couldn't see the power wires because we're going through the blocks. But they should take it up to the top. It comes firing out of there and hits that car at a blazing speed. And it went over. Okay, hang on. Okay, quick modification here. Just a bit of a backboard to catch the ball. Oh, I missed. Oh, well. Whatever. Nothing like painting the odd little tile once in a while. Okay, let's get that out. We'll hear that. And... It's almost like I've done this before. Okay, now we are good to go. This is going to be it. This is going to be the first successful run, I think. And, uh, you. Okay, where are you? You are... Stuck again. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to keep it away from the, the edge of the table. Board, whatever. Alright, I'll bring it back. Okay, ball's on its way up. And hopefully it doesn't go flying out. You know, it's amazing how much power these hover pads can actually have. And I think it's because as it's coming around the corner, it's carrying the momentum, and that hover hover pad just carries it on. Okay, we are good. Let's move it over to the middle. I said let's move it over to the middle. Back and back. Slight misalignment. Let's go see what's going on. Shouldn't be anything. Yeah, it's, it's a little too close to the side here. Alright, I'm just gonna turn that off for now. Let's, let's see if we can nudge it out of the way away from the wall come on you that could be it too I was thinking about taking that out let's see what happens oh whatever it works we'll deal with it down here Okay, so we'll bring it back. We'll just bring it to the middle. Yeah, there seems about right. And fire. It actually worked. There we go. Oh, I actually did have space on the other side there. Alright, we'll bring it back over. We'll turn that off. And then as soon as this is back, we can probably even push it out now. That goes back up, fires back in there, and then we do it all over again. Where are you? Yeah, come on. I'm surprised this actually works. Did I lose another ball? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. I'm going to bring it back over. Oh. Helps if we take the, take the brakes off. That's a good spot, and... Off we go. Success. Except for the catching on the walls, I think this is really good. And there we have it. I just want to get this up and running, give you a little bit of follow-up on this, and go from there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.